To solve this polynomial equation, we're going to need to factor. And to do that, we'll have to find a pair of numbers that add together to give us our b value, which is equal to 1. If it exists in math, there's always one of them. And multiply together to give us our a times c, which would be 1 times negative 20, which is negative 20. And from there, we just need to create a factor tree to find this pair of numbers. So let's take negative 20 and find all of its um, factor pairs. We have 1 times 20, we have 2 times 10, we have 4 times 5, and that's where we'll go ahead and stop. So 1 and 20, is there any way to add or subtract that to get the number 1? No, not really. So we can eliminate those as an option. Then we have 2 and 10. Is there any way we could add or subtract that to get the number 1? Unfortunately, not. So we can eliminate that as well. 4 and 5, however, could be subtracted to equal 1. So this is going to be the factor pair that we use. Now we just need to determine our signs. These two numbers need to multiply together to give us a negative number. So one of them has to be negative and the other has to be positive, right? A positive times a negative always equals a negative. But when we're adding together, the result of our sum needs to be positive. So that means the biggest number, the greatest number carries the sign, the biggest number needs to be positive. In this case, 5 is our biggest number, so we're going to have a positive 5 and a negative 4. And that will allow us to create these two binomials, x plus 5 and x minus 4, They're both equal to 0. Now that we have both our equations, we set each of them equal to 0 and solve for x make a little bit of room and we will start with x plus 5 is equal to 0. x plus 5 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Now we'll have to do opposite operations to isolate x. So in this case 5 is being added to x so the opposite operation is subtracting 5 from both sides. These will cancel leaving us with x is equal to negative 5. This will allow us to eliminate our first two answer choices for having positive fives. Then, for the next one, 4 is being subtracted from x, so the opposite operation is adding 4 to both sides. These 4s will cancel, giving us x is equal to 4, making answer choice D our correct answer.